Okay, so where we left off, we just got Waldhar into the library, weird archive place, broke him out of prison, and now he need glasses. They stole his glasses. It's just rude. <laughs> Oops. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. All right, I was tempted to turn the the visual settings down a bit. Just to get the chug a little less here and there. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if I even notice the difference. If the whole game runs smoother, but it's basically just all the same colors and all the same places, then I'm not going to notice if it, if something looks slightly different. Golly, am I going to have to settle for a slightly lower high setting? Ooh, it does already look smoother, doesn't it? Maybe? I'd have to deal with less uncertainty if I just showed... A, uh, Do you know how long you'll be? Frame rate on the screen. Are, so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. But unless you're playing a game with as trashy and cluttered of a interface as an MMO, it just feels so bad to include a fr FPS counter on screen when you're recording something. Okay, once again, I just have to wonder: is the guard posted outside there to help me or to catch me? I can't tell what they want with these stealth systems. Huh? It's a lot of guards coming out at the same time. It feels like a trap and not helpful. Oh, hey. Nope. Eh. I just can't tell when I'm in trouble or not. People attack me sometimes. I can't tell the difference between them. That is one million guards, isn't it? There's a lot of jank in this game, but the stealth is definitely the worst part of the entire video game. Just the entire game. Just the, the, They keep sending me on these infiltration missions and not telling me how they work. There's no, like, on-screen feedback. People don't have, like, exclamation points above their heads that fill up as they look at you. So I just can't tell if people are aggroing on me, ever. But every now and then they do, and I'm like, why? Why'd that guy aggro on me? What was the difference? The music just got action-y. Secret back room? No, my secret back room. <laughs> Ow, see, I'm being attacked. Ow. Why? Oh, that's the bouldery. Back over here now. Can be found in the storeroom within the palace masquerade hall. It's just a storeroom somewhere. Okay. Ow. Ow. See, now they're angry at me. But they're only sometimes angry at me. How do you tell the rules? Alright, well, there's a storeroom somewhere. Is this the storeroom? It looks like a place where things are being storaged. Ah, I can dress courtly. -ly. Now, no one will suspect me of being an outsider. Oh, that was. <laughs> this is what I needed for the other quest. The secret is to break into the party and then get the clothes from inside the party. Then you can walk into the party normally. <laughs> Am I under attack right now? Maybe. Owie! Owie! Oh. Wait, I'm in big trouble now. That's, that's the most cards I've ever seen. Am I getting up? 
Do okay. not test me. Oh, I was arrested. I hate the stealth missions. Just because it's there's not they never establish what you're doing in them. I don't know what the gameplay mechanics are. This is the first time I've ever been caught because they never attack they almost never attack me. And so you're supposed to just find an item somewhere in a huge area somewhere but not knowing what you're supposed to do with the guards, like what the mechanics are. Like what the fuck? If you perform, if you perform dubious deeds in the city, like, such as walking around in a place apparently, find yourself surrounded by guards after which you will be arrested and thrown in jail. There's a number of paths to escape, but speaking with the jailer on watch is a good place to start. All right, well. Uh, probably the other way. Wait for the new equipment's coming. Do I have my equipment? Now that I've broken out. Okay, well, now I need to find my equipment. Oh, Never been in jail before. Alright, so where do they put your gear when they kidnap you? First, assess the field. Act I'm just walking around in prison and no one's attacking me like I just it's it's bad honestly like this is just actually bad all of the stealth missions which is a bizarrely large amount of the main story so far uh, that send you into the capital over and over again are based entirely around mechanics that are never explained in a game that keeps giving you pop-ups all the time And like the game just has really bad feedback for stealth, so you can't tell if anyone's aggro or not. And half the time the correct answer is to walk up to a guard who will then Oh, you just go your stuff automatically. Okay. So they didn't even do the thing where there's a chest with your gear where they confiscated it. It all just magically gets back into your inventory. One item at a time? Oh my god! I mean this with all the love in the world. Uh, who the fuck made this part? <laughs> what was their goal? What did they think? <laughs> Even that part, I'm like, really? It just lists all 500 items one at a time. <laughs> deranged game. Just deranged whatever the fuck the stealth quests are supposed to be. Anyway, that didn't do shit. I'm, I'm amused that they... they they, you get a free uh, gear set out of that, technically. I'm just gonna go back in now. I'll have to look for, the, for this guy's glasses. Let's see, this is not where the storage room is. It's just a storage room somewhere in this giant blob. Where is it? It's the chest I opened earlier. We're looking for some guy's glasses. Uh huh. What stands out to me is that just this game doesn't even have a crouch button. Like, you can't even just crouch to be like, ah, I'm sneaking now. There's no sneaking button in the game that keeps giving you infiltration missions. Like, there just is no, like, room for there to be gameplay in it. Let's see, is this the right chest? Flowers. Spectacles, there we go, we got them. All I had to do was get arrested once. <laughs> One of my biggest peeves, though, is definitely the fact that the game will be like... There's someone that I've tipped off. They'll help you. And then you go into the giant base and there's one random NPC that will guide you. But you can't identify them by... Oh, I went too far. 
You can't identify that person by sight in any reasonable way. But how do you tell them apart from all the guards you don't? Oh, now Leon's using the healing spell healing items on me. I thought she was gonna spell cast her spell on me. She said wait. Let's go back through. No, not here. Go through here. I think this is this is the graves. Wait, there's a wall here. Which is not on the mini map. No, it's kind of on the mini mini map. Okay, further upstairs. <laughs> I went too far. Trying to get back to the slums. To break the law is to be thrown in jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Why is it saying? Keep some coin on hand to ease our potential warders' suffering. Where am I? What is it telling me to go to? The Baldwin's estate. And make them an ally to our cause. I don't know who these people are. I don't think this is actually my goal. I think it's just. I think it's above my goal. Whoops. <laughs> but I'll look around and steal their shit. The guard system in general is very strange, because this game also doesn't have stealing. You can just take everything you see ever, and nothing's ever stealing. And there's no on-screen notification system for when you're getting into and out of zones that you'll get arrested for being in. Oh, this is the weird small room. I remember this one. Oh, it's, wait. Oh, it... It's closed. I went in there previously and it was... Oh... They've closed it. it. I think it's supposed to always be closed to disguise the fact that it's a room that goes nowhere. It's just a tiny rectangle that goes nowhere. It's like an oversight in the design, basically. Like it's a room that makes no sense. But if they cover it up with a locked door, then you, do, you won't question it. Alright, well this is one way down at least. I forgot how to get to the prison apparently. When I was just there. <laughs> There we go. Eh. And we go back through the tower. Yep. We could do with the lantern's light. Mm. Tis a glad thing I came prepared. Much obliged. I don't need to see you to know where I'm going. Well, I'm going so fast that we're getting the lights loading in. All right, so here's your glasses. I got arrested. Ah, you've returned. Oh, my spectacles. Well done, sir. With these, I shall have no need to fear any letters, be they small or faintly scrawled. I shall learn aught I can that the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you. Many, many thanks. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Outstanding. A job well done. What will our next adventure have in store for us, I wonder? There we go. That's a major part done, I think. Shall we pay Miss Dan? Tis a marvelous place you found me. You have... Well, don't give me a one that says to wait. See, we can look out the Jadeite Orb, because we have context for that one, but I think I want to do the quest for... Visit Mel from time to time. It might be time to visit Melv again, just to check. But it's been longer since I've been to Harv Village, so let's check out the place that was, be was being attacked by the, the scale people. Also, maybe I can get another long cloth there. My gratitude. Leon, it's your turn to get a suspiciously armored loincloth. The vendor is still there. Oh my god, stop Assassin's Creeding. I swear to god, just go down. And mind the ceiling. We'll manage. Whatever comes, we always do, don't we? 
I'm not trying to complain funny all the time. It's just, it's fun to just, I, I have to react to the jank when it's happening at me constantly. It's funny. The fact that your character just, like, wants to climb and jump every wall and surface, and I'm like, I'm just pressing forward, man. Go forward. I'm pressing forward off a cliff because I want you to go off the cliff to go down, because that's the only way out of this room. You're like, what if I jumped and clung to a wall? I'm like, I didn't press a button. I didn't jump. Why are you behaving like this? Let's see, is he back yet? No, he's not back. This place offers a view of the sea. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. I think this game is significantly increased by playing as a cat, because your character behaves like a cat at all times. Just their bizarre, insane behavior. It's like your character constantly has the zoomies and is clawing up the walls and doing insane things. It's like. It would look weirder if you were human, but when you're a, a big cat man, you're like, maybe this is just what he what he does. He's just like this. Okay, I came back to town, but I guess this isn't very helpful. Let's see, my goal is to go here. The carriage that goes to Rest Town, not go there. I guess there's a chance to use a fairy stone. To get to our village. But then I'll also have to get back. And I don't want to use two fairy stones just to visit Harv Village once. I think the ideal situation is to travel to Rest Town and hope we get attacked on the way, because anywhere in the middle should put me close enough that I can go south to Harv Village. Then I can use a stone to leave Harv Village. I don't want to use two stones for one trip. That seems shit. I am a little amused by the fact that the, uh, like, I'm not, it's not, I'm not against anybody complaining about the microtransactions, obviously, but one of the funny manifestations of that is that people complain that they made the game tedious on purpose to tr to force you to pay money. And I'm like, no, Dragon's Dogma is just like this. This is what the first game was like, too. It has, like, all these contrivances about how to travel and so on. Oh, wait, I need to pay. This will not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Oh, I can pay from here. That's handy. Okay. Is he gonna give me the sleepy prompt? There it is. I think a lot of Dragon's Dogma identity identity as a franchise is being crunchy. Like it's just surprisingly crunchy. No, we made it. <laughs> I specifically wanted us to fail. We might find a use for it. Well, might as well check this place out. We haven't been to check. No, I don't want to. I don't want to check this place out. I'm avoiding this town on purpose because I have too many quests. I just I I can get here easily. It's cheap to get here. I want to get here after I've cleaned up more of my quests because otherwise Oh, Mildred's week of wandering is up. A week has passed since Sir Mildred set off. I suppose it's time we vacated her dwelling. Ah. <laughs> Friend, allow me to show you I just wanted to climb onto the cart the, the way that he like locks onto somebody. I need to see some coin before I let you on. Give me the sleepy button, and please get attack, get attacked halfway through, please. You make it, I swear to God. Yay! We're under attack. Ah! Ah! I know, why did it auto lock to somebody further away than the one I was in front of me? Oh god, I killed the bison! Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, let's turn my lantern on because we're gonna be here for a bit. 
All right, I gave my lantern to Leon between episodes because I was trying to take a photo. Where's my lantern? Implements, implements, there it is. Add oil, light. Ah. Hey, the sun's coming up. <laughs> As if to, <laughs> wait, <laughs> I, I light my lantern because it's so dark and the fucking sun comes up in real time, it like so quickly. <laughs> Nope, calm down, buddy. The animation priority of this weapon is intense. He will just, he will do shit. Uh oh. Still trying to figure out the correct way to use this weapon. It's very awkward and slow. So I don't know which attacks to be prioritizing. Blech. I know that when he's down, this is a big opening. Big damage! Oh, I got up too fast. That should have been almost an entire bar. Seems on me. Yeah, all right, keep looking at me. There you go. Anyway, don't need the lantern out anymore. You're like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. Well, they made every single trinket you find useful, so shut up. Oh, I landed exactly where I wanted to, which is in the middle of this place. Time to, time to go south. Let's see if I can ruin my life again. But this place is full of these guys. Did I get him? I think so. Probably doesn't do that much damage overall in the scale of a small enemy. But being able to throw one of those at a Cerberus or whatever would probably be really effective. And we both leveled to 20. Whatever small gap of experience we had from him not being here in the prologue seems to have immediately become irrelevant compared to how much experience you get from most fights. I think we pretty much always level in the same fight now. We are none of us alike in vocation. It is a tad inconvenient that we can't share it. There, Master! Saurians! Ice attacks work wonders against their ill. Your risen have been drenched. <laughs> Just chop, chop, chop. Oh, there's the second hit. I guess I wasn't doing it because he wasn't getting stunned. So my goal is... Wait, is it the right town? Where am I? No. Motherfucker, I have the wrong quest selected. God. I just went back to the same. Ah! It's a little unusual to have uh, humans almost never be hostile in a game. 
What? Big Durgan. Oh, he has fucking seven health bars. Eight health bars? Eight health bars. Fuck you. <laughs> nope. How? Who? Mary. How did you die? We need a healer. Oh god, the dragon's coming. <clears throat> uh, he's talking to me with his brain. Or at least we need our party to be alive. Oh god. Did I not hit? At all? I did not do damage. <laughs> Stabby. Uh oh. Good, 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 good. All damage hurts. Uh huh. Yeah, that's about what I figured. That's about what I figured. I was planning on being a little more careful and not, you know, committing when I get in some trouble. But instead, I was completely fine. I'm back at the fucking capital again. <laughs> mm hmm. It's because I don't want to use a permanent wake stone to not win a fight anyway <laughs> okay uh-huh okay we're back uh -huh. speaking of pawns I end up feeling weary. sir arisen thank heavens you've come saurians have claimed the village yet again just when almost all of the villagers had arrived as well oh why must these scaly fiends beset us so oi what are you doing standing about when there's work to be done Jonas, this is the good sir I spoke of. The one who called the Saurians for us. Is that right? Then I expect you to aid us with this mess, stranger. You did it once afore, eh? Only natural you'd help finish the job. My apologies for the chief's temperament. Yet he speaks truly. We have need of your strength. Pray, calm the beasts as you did before, sir. I dare say you are the only one upon whom we can depend. More Saurians. Let us deliver them a swift end and ensure the villagers' safety. Careful now. Defeat the sword. Oh yeah, they're just here. <laughs> just right in the middle. Of, just in the middle of this. <laughs> Stabby. Big Stabby. Hey! That's more skill. Is that the whole fight? <laughs> These conversations are always about like two or three total Sor Saurians. The conversation's longer than the fight each time. It's very funny. The Saurians are no more, I see. That's twice you've come to our rescue now. You're more than a friend to Har Village, Sir Arisen. You are a hero. Truly, we cannot th uh -oh. There he is! I found our troublemaker! Jonas! What is the meaning of this? This blasted beastrin went and ventured into Stormwind Cave! How many times have we said none are to tread there? But he just had to poke his nose where it didn't belong. There can be no doubt, he's the one who incited the Saurian's attack. Forgive me, I never meant for any of this to happen. 
<laughs> Trust a beast and to <laughs> I'm just facing up. the wrong way. Jonas! Surely there's no need for such talk. Jonas, you're surrounded by three beast four beast because also Leon's here. Yeah, you would say Five beast she's here. But I see him outnumbered. Could be all three of you are behind this somehow. Oh, it's race we're introducing racism. Jonas, please! You're being ridiculous. Fair. I do apologize. <laughs> it would seem things have turned rather uncomfortable. But we mustn't let this sour your triumph. You came to our aid when we needed it most, and for that, you have our gratitude, sir Arisen. I do hope you shall visit us again anon. It was a rotten note to end things on. I do hope Sir Fioran will be all right. Well, time to kill the racist. Rest formally. Nope. Did it to do any follow up with this location? Not the moment. Thank you, Sir Arisen. That's twice now you've aided us. We've a long road ahead, but fear not. Half village shall be bustling again ere long. Hmm. I'm not interested. I don't know if I, I feel like I've almost the never played a game where you can be this much taller than other characters. Yes, I can't quite bring myself to dismiss his tales for all that. Curious, isn't it? Mayhap his maundering will make more sense to us in time. Specifically the scale of characters that are, that are the same type of character, not like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV being like, there's a gnome and a giant. Those are just completely different characters. Let's see. I'll do a little lap around town just to see if this trip can be any more worth it. What room is any interesting tidings to share? Evidently not. I'll collect that. You need and trouble yourself. Admittedly, it's a long run to here. If the only payoff is. Oh damn! Two more Saurians came out. Help! We're so helpless. Oh, I've stolen all of their stuff. Wow this, wow, this person has so much stuff to steal. Hi. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, it's the spell spear guy that was at the dragon fight. Way all, all up in Melv. Sigurd, you're the current Arisen, aren't you? I pray you do not walk the same path as I have. Aye. For so long as we are united in our resolve to slay the dragon... So he lives all the way down here. He's the Dragoon. This is his house, and I found all of his stores of magic books and stole them. There we go. Yeah, he's the guy that we learned how to be a spell spear from, but... I don't know if I want to be a spell spear. I'm cosplaying as as Guts Berserk, aka Blythe, the same character. Mustn't let it burn. My bed quits. And I shall not see it. Merchant. Well met. Looking to make a perk. Disappointing. Disappointing. Just much obliged, sir. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. There's the whole cave area. So I guess they went in the cave and that caused problems. I thought we took out everyone in the cave. Are we to that, withdraw? I thought that was like to see the goal. That this place has to offer. Well, that's right. I was telling you about the Gigantus until you went off somewhere. Come, young people are so impatient. Now, listen well. The Gigantus is an earthen structure that hearkens to the voice of the sea, for it is a servant of the brine. Just as the Arisen commands the pawns, so too does the sea's peril compel the Gigantus. Supposedly, the brine have their colossal servant monitor the dragon to ensure that it commits no acts of excess. As for what the brine deem an act of excess, I could not tell you. 
Some would argue that tis the hand of excess what brings the cup of fine ale to our lips time and time again. But what of it? Those unbidden sips of ale are what keep the throat from growing parched. Without them, life would be a dull affair indeed. That brings me back to what I was saying about the... Uh, what was I talking about again? Ah, of course. The Gigantus. It is formed of clay, and tall enough to graze its brow upon the very clouds. What's more, tis said its lofty gaze watches o'er the world even now. And should it be stirred to life by the voice of the sea, mayhap twould do aught to put that dragon in its place. You do not believe, but I assure you tis no less than the truth. I've beheld it all with my own eyes. I wonder if they're saying the Gigantus has a weapon or a thing that triggers go after the dragon that's around because he's a problem. Somebody said they saw a giant statue at some point. I've never seen it, I don't think. I've like, looked around. Is it in those... No, that's a Colosseum. Yes, yes, of course. We were speaking of places elsewhere. Mayhap tis beyond your ken, but this world of ours is not the real one. This world is a cycle. The dragon emerges, the dragon is slain, and just when we think we have found peace at last, the dragon appears once more. Tis endless. Endless and tiresome, wouldn't you say? Yet, such is the lot of those who reside in a false world like ours. The real world is not nearly so stagnant. All manner of things occur there. It is a far more fearsome existence than ours, to be sure. Is there a way to travel to the real world, you ask? <laughs> Must I do all the thinking here? Ponder that yourself. What I will say is that I believe the cycle will continue unbroken for as long as the dragon continues to be slain. You doubt your ears, but I speak truly. I have beheld the real world with my own eyes. We've got the we've got the lore theorists here. They know everything that's up. They know what's happening in the story. Oh, that's right. I was telling you about the Gigantus. Now, just as the suppose oh God, as loops. for what some Help. would argue, Help. what of it? Help. That bring disformed of and Help. should it be? You do not believe. Help. Hey, I stole your only food. Bye bye. What happened to the merchant that sold me the loincloth? <laughs> He was like standing right here at night. Fancy a look at my wares? I think. Oh, this goes somewhere. I don't think I've been in here yet. One can see far to the distance before. We are alone here, methinks. Perhaps we might stop a moment and find our bearings. This is no great shock to me. Hang on a minute. Nope, think I imagined it. I thought I saw one of those tokens. Which now I have more reason to look out for because they are in fact a currency that builds up to a reward. Still might be one on this hilltop. That's just like a logical place to put one. Nope, don't fall down. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Nope, Leon's just jumping off cliffs now. Let's see. I don't think there's one up here. They're usually decent at shining, so you don't have to actually, like, pixel hunt. They're thankfully reflective. Okay, well, let's check out the tower, which also might have one and anything else in it. Yeah, I'm definitely, like, paranoid about every merchant now, because they might have, like, really cool surprise gear. Both, both of the pieces of equipment I'm wearing right now are just from, like, random surprise merchants that I might have not looked at a second time at the time. And also, if I 
had left would probably never come back. So I'd probably never see them again. Like how the other one was from the freaking thief village that I probably never have to visit again. Anyway, I think my new abilities suck. So I'm probably not gonna use <laughs> this. Okay, we're good. <laughs> this staircase ends. Hi. Uh huh. Let's check out the basement. There's probably a utility to this one. Because it gets rid of bad effects on you. Uh, and the stab is okay. The charge is okay. Which one did I change out that I don't like? Maybe it's the charge I want to get rid of. I'm not sure. Maybe the spinning one. I don't know. I think it's. I think mainly I just. I kind of miss my previous ability to let me the swing upward at flying enemies. And so with that being gone, just feels like I'm missing something. Being limited to four is a little rough. Wickstone shard. But yeah, for all of the, for all of how cool it looks and how thematic, it, how correct it feels for the cosplay and everything. I don't love this class yet. We'll see if I can figure out how best to optimize it and how to behave and feel a little better about it overall. These landscapes are beautiful. I think that's going to be it for here. Base sites. Yeah, not really noteworthy names for places. I'm just grateful I get to lead a quiet life. All right, well, we're done here. Let's go back to Melv and see if they're in trouble again. Or if nothing else, I'll use my fairy stone to go back to Ingrid's, uh, Mildred's house. And follow up on that. Yeet. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Let's see. All right, I'm being distracted by the fact that a quest is selected. Quest markers are so distracting. This is so easy to be like, ah, there's something here. I don't even know what quest is currently selected. It's not the one I was going for. Uh, place to go home. There we go. As I recall, the location of another of our tasks is not far from here. Trying to get over here. He is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Hi. Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought, mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? 20 grand is fine for a house. Doesn't it cost you a few grand to rest every time? I don't know, you should just have a house, Much whatever. Obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. This, this game honestly kind of showers you in money. And not even in the usual way. Like, usually it's like, oh, I picked up 500 loot items and I sold all of them in this RPG and now I'm loaded with money all the time. I'm not even doing the economy. I'm just loaded because the game gives you a lot of money all the time. I suppose I'd best be off. I have my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Why did my game Go just well. minimize? What? Come back. That was weird. 
That's the second time that's happened. That's like the one glitch I've had, basically, is that twice now my game has suddenly just turned into a 720p window in the middle of my screen. Come back. There we go. All right. Farewell is two words? I mean, I know they are two words, but you say it is two words? Weren't you listening? I told you to get lost. I've never talked to you before. <laughs> Let's see. Looking at the stash, I am a little worried that maybe I was wrong all along. Which isn't much of a thing to be worried about, but... I thought that because of the items that I lost... I lost crafting items for my companions when they when they were lost to me. And that made, so that made me think I lost them, lost them, but they might have been in the stash, and now I don't have the data to check to be sure anymore. Oh well. more unfounded paranoia to what to be paranoid about. Withdraw. Probably shouldn't be rotten food in here. I can at least turn that into lamp oil. Alright, Catherine, I'm very sorry to say this, but uh, you're going to have to carry a bunch of weapons for me. What do I not care about? Probably that one. The shittier daggers. Some other bow that's probably not... Yeah, it's worse than this one. These are not archer staffs or whatever they're called. Some trusty sword. Okay. Carry all these weapons, Catherine. We are going to go to the, the guy that wants weapons so I can stop thinking about him. <laughs> That is our goal at the moment. How's everyone's health doing? I should just, like, rest for the sake of it, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to get an archer staff, because I'm pretty sure I sold the one that I that the story tries to get you to find, because I found it before they told me to look for it. <laughs> the shame of exploring ever. Must rest, though the sun is still up. On quest. No ratings received. Got 142. One griffin has been killed, I guess. That's fine. He traveled with two people and didn't even get a single thumbs up. This world I return. Ready to put all I've learned to use. A good sleep does wonders. Man, I need to slut you up so that people actually take you on adventures. Ready to forge on? That's the real answer. It's simple enough to procure if we've the coin, but we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Ma'am, I've already got the coin. I just need to get back to him. I just didn't want to deal with him because he's all the way out in the middle of nowhere. But if I'm just being an inefficient traveler in general, then I might as well just embrace my mistakes. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Leon, shut up. <laughs> <most convenient>, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Traveling in the modern age. What 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 a height of luxury. <laughs> this is rather thrilling. Y'all whine so much. Alright, let's see if this place is under attack again or not. I pray you will give me no cause to mistrust you. How dare you? <laughs> After what I've done, how could you say that to me? Ah, uh, here we are. The ox god made it without too much trouble. Well, that's a delayed reaction. Buy a car for our next journey. Any merchants around, I guess? It says to come back here periodically, just to see what's up, but I don't think anything do be up yet. Merchant? Well met. Looking to make a 
Boring. Yeah, you're the same person from before. This might be worth a read. All right, but our bonus go ob objective that makes it worth it to come up here is I'm going to also try to go here to Baron. A thorough perusal might reveal aught of interest. There is a river. We need to go around the river. <laughs> Baron was looking for a pupil and weapons, and that, this might even be a long-term thing that pays off at some point, but that one guy was very excited about getting the chance to be trained, and he's trying to train people, but I didn't have any weapons on me at the time. But now I've loaded our, our pawn with bonus weapons. Do that. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? No, you're not. Uh, You've said it four times today. As well. We must each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master. You can count on me ah. to fly to your aid in your hour of need, master. Knowing when to use curatives is my speciality. You are a level 20 healer. Ah, uh, that he's that she's level 18. But he is a but, but it is a chance to actually have one of these guys though. Uh, to remain higher. Dismiss. By your son. I have been asking for this damn game to give me beast wren who aren't uh who aren't the same freaking uh hang on a second. Here's some lantern oil. There you go. Heart. Tis a pity we must part after sharing such a journey. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. I have been begging this game to give me beast ren that aren't just warriors every single time because the the uh the community has its biases. It's like, ah, giant man. He must be a the 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 heavy sword swinging man. Oh, it fell from the beast, is it? So I've like never I almost never see any of the other classes. When the game's like, you know, some people prefer to travel beast ren. I'm like, yeah. Me. I can't find them. I can't find a well-rounded party of them. It makes me sad. We'll never get anywhere if all we do is rest. We always knew they were going to be less popular. But having the ability to filter better would be nice uh, in the incidental stones. I think the super master stone all the way back in the capital lets you choose better. But the other stones throughout the game, they're like, eh, here's, here's ten people standing here, pick one. I'm like, ah, damn it. They're all references to anime women. All of them. Oh, they're still coming. Flame weapon. I do like this, that they, they do this to me. I love that the mages give me flaming great swords. Looks like this one has fire instead than the other, whereas the, the last lady had ice. Having archers and stuff though makes it so it's, until we fight a big guy, it's genuinely hard to hit a target before my party kills them. We trounced our foe well and true. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. There you are, dude. Did the other guy ever reach here? Well met. Have you any weapons for me? Yuck. Any type of sword? Just any just any type of sword. Hmm. They have to be swords specifically? Fuck. Procure three swords. Why does this game have secret objectives? That's so annoying. The fact that you have to expand it to find what the secret actual objective is. It's like, mother... F mm. Why would you say that? Why did it say weapons? Why did you vaguely say weapons if you meant swords and then you have to expand it to say swords? Why would you mislead me? What's the point? There's no reason to obscure that information. Is this not a sword? It's have to be swords, right? Okay. Oopsie, that's the one they're equipping? No. Wait. Yes? No? 
Wait, oh, items, not, oh shit, items, not, not equipment. Trying to, it's trying to do something else there. Uh, oh fuck. I'm trying to do the select all, select multiple feature, but it doesn't work here. Is only one of these count as a sword? Well met. Have you any weapons for me? Hmm. Only one of them counts as a sword. Out of the swords I have. Superior trusty sword. It's called a sword. It's for the warrior class or fighter or whatever. So steeled virtue counts, but superior trusty sword doesn't count. Well met. Have you any weapons for me? Why? These quests are pissing me off a little bit. Alright, let's get three of the same sword. Let's run back to town, get three of the exact same sword. Maybe over here? Do they have merchants for weapons here? Where do you buy weapons? Do I have to go all the way back to the capital city to buy weapons? Why is this game an asshole? <laughs> Let's go down the road and to the left and hope that this barracks type place has a weapon vendor. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some in treasure chests. Ow, how is none of that something Which I can land on? Well, this person can shoot you with healing spells instead of putting a zone down. All right. A lack of specificity and and clarity to the objectives becomes a problem when there's a 10 minute commute to every quest. <laughs> you're like, man, I came all the way out here and you, you're being picky with what you mean by weapons? Not even all my swords are good enough to be swords? Hey, this is a blacksmith guy, right? Oh, I can't complain. Will this take long? I want to. Oh, come on. One of you has to be a merchant, right? Okay, thank you. Trusty sword is not good enough, apparently. It's all they have here. I might just have to buy a few and hope for the best. It's technically different from superior trusty sword. Maybe it'll count. I don't know. I'm just generally annoyed right now. Nothing is going to be good here. But is any of it hot? <laughs> a little bit. Always a pleasure. Right, well, that's the person here who sells swords. Are there any wandering merchants? With surprise gear. We're running low on everything. Ah. From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods, what with all the monsters lurking on the roads of late. I sent Marcus to gather what we need, but I've just taken stock and I fear the list I gave him was incomplete. What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand for me? <laughs> You'd be paid, of course. Surprise quest. Glad to hear it. Here, take this list of additional supplies to Marcus. He ought to be somewhere north of here. Hand him the note and he'll take care of the rest. Who's Marcus? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, quests, prisoner's plate, somewhere to the north, right up there. So it's just where we came from at the beginning, I think. I know where to find the person you're looking for. You'll have a quest hiding over here, too. I think that might be where we came from at the beginning. No, this is the path all the way back to town. I think this was the. This is a bridge that was out at the beginning to make you go south and around to meet up with Melv. Or find Melv, the town. We have all we need to deliver, do we not? Let us uh, find the intended recipient. I only hope the recipient is pleased with our work. True enough. 
I seem to never accidentally sp spawn conversations with other people besides pawns. So I think the spawns just, I think the pawns just aggro on you on the road all the time, as opposed to uh, me hitting them with B. Just stuck on him. <laughs> Hello. This is generally used as a material. Are you alive? Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Oh, there he is. Let my magic infuse your weapon with the fury of the elements. Just slam, slam, slam. There you go. Hello. I would fain aid you if you are in need. Oh, you're not who I'm here for. Here we are. That's everything assembled. A job well done, if I do say so myself. Oh, it is the right person. <laughs> Just the way he wanted to talk first. Oi! Did you need something? Here's your provisioner's note. This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Let's have a look then. Fine. He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as tis. Say. Your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. First, we must find out how to procure what we require. Then our search can begin in earnest. God damn. Okay, everyone just sees me as their, per their person to do. Okay, three hearth spreads and two salubrious drafts. Three hearth splits and two salubrious drops. Uh, I probably have that. Isn't there just a green thing? Yeah, I have 22 of those. Uh, hearth spuds, apple, blueberry. I think I turn all my hearth spuds as I've got a ripened hearth spud. <laughs> Could I just run around and pick some berries, I guess? The items on this list can be crafted by combining certain materials, and I happen this, to know this is an extremely tutorial mission. I'm still finding the beginning of the game tutorial missions. Destination. Shall I show you the way, Master? The vanguard is yours. Uh huh. Lead on. Do you know how to find Harspids? He's just leading me back to town, isn't he? Green Warish. I told all my heart I turned all my harspids into goop. Can I just give you more drafts? I have twenty two of them. Hmm. I've never sought out Harspid, so I don't know how to find them specifically. This is like a training ground. Come at me. Money. It's a chest. I shall take a look inside. This is a goofy example of where I'd be I'd be more willing to just buy the item from a vendor. Like, look, I did it. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. Perhaps the Arisen has recalled some more pressing business. Fret not. I'm sure we'll come back to this eventually. Y'all don't need y'all don't need to psychoanalyze me. Unless I have more things that count as harspids, 
Like the ripened one. Is that a statue I espy over yonder? Ooh. We ought to take a closer look. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Psst. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Been over there already. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. It's called jump attack. Save you. Wait, we have no ways of meaning we have no way of exploiting the enemy's weakness? Of a harpy? Sir, you are the archer. Shoot them with the bow. And then they fall down. And then they're, then they're on the ground and extremely vulnerable. You are their weakness! I know the AI is being like, ah, we lack their elemental vulnerability in this party or something. But like, you are extremely their weakness, sir. Let's see, yeah, the, the, the southern path out of town is probably better. I remember fighting various packs of goblins up on these cliffs and then having a bunch of bushes around. Not blueberries. Are we leaving already? We'd best report back. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm good at video games. Um. Oh, do I need to go back up north to the guy? That's fine. It's like 30 seconds. Oh, here's more harspids here to taunt me. A common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot oh. expect gleaming treasures round every corner. I need to get a new controller. Mine keeps looking at the ground. This dead zone is slightly fucked. It started happening during Lies of P. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Brilliant! I knew I could count on you. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. A waking Making powder. Ought to be our next I think that's priority. called coffee. These quests probably have really meager rewards. But completionism, I guess. <laughs> anyway, back to checking to see if that if I have the right swords for that guy now. I'm dead on my feet after today's training. I mustn't let the captain see my knees come. Oi! Many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hoped it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. Our efforts have seen the encampment resupplied and Sir Geoffrey with one less care. A good deed all round. See, we've already yeah, been up there. Alright, so it gave, us a th it gave us about a thousand gold, which is uh, half as much as what I spent on trying to buy these swords, but it's fine. Oops. Going back to this one icon again. <laughs> like one of the things that comes to mind is that it feels like the oh. it feels like the more that I get this horizontal momentum, the more the game, sh or the, the more that I run around everywhere, the more I should get like a cardio stat, and I should be better at running around everywhere. Make running perpet uh. Just ca uh, continually cost less. Kind of like how they're continue. They keep giving me these beetles that make me, like make it so I can carry more. This should help. Not a lot more. Only like 0.15 kilograms, but it's something. Where's my stamina beetles that let me run more? That's a big hole. Oop, anything under this bridge, though? There's ought to be found there. Can you not see it? We ought to take a closer look. Do 
you guys see something? Exclamation point over here. Oh, there's the metal. <laughs> that slide is so scary. All our efforts weren't for naught. Got three more to turn in. To remember to tell my own master about this. Lion man. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Level 31, straightforward. Sorry, ma'am. You can have, uh, uh, more lantern oil. All told, I'm rather satisfied with my performance. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. Oh, he's going to be a prick. Full cat party for the first time, surprisingly. It took this long. Zanjus and Galahad. What are you doing? We've not been given leave to rest yet. This guy is going to be so pretentious and just condescending. I feel like it does pay to have a second warrior in the party, if not... If, Partly to carry things, and partly because, uh, I'm not always on top of things. Tell me he did not leave. An impressive view. We can infer much of the lay of the land from here. It would be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. True Where? Enough. What? 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 Him not here. Are you for reals right now? Please? No. Yes, here. No. No. Weapons are simple enough no. to cure if we've the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some <laughs> Just let me do the quest, man. <laughs> True enough. Uh, okay, there's a campsite over there. I'll camp until morning over there. I'll spend an entire camp supply just trying to get this guy to respawn. This game is kicking me in the teeth for the last like four hours every time I do try to do quests. It like actively doesn't want me to finish things. The NPC's just gone. That's quite the drop. Take care not to fall. We ought to proceed with caution. I don't have a camping kit on me. Uh, I probably gave it to that other character. Oh well. Um, I do want the ladder launch back. Yeah, that was cool. I think I could throw, I could throw enemies up at dudes, that which was fun to do. And the skyward thing was cool. I, think I like. Surging strike more than rending sweep. I don't think I really need a big circular swing. What stands out to me is that my normal X attack is already a big sweeping attack, so I don't need a bigger sweeping attack necessarily. Whereas being able to swing upward or stab people down, these all have more like direct usefulness. The fact that I don't have a camping kit. Shall we prop up our tent and get out of the rain for a spell? True okay. I'm gonna try a new strategy. Save and return to title screen. We're gonna try troubleshooting style approaches to this problem. Where the fuck did he go? I know they can aggro on enemies and things. I'm just like, please man, come back.
All right, let's hope for the best. Hello, surprise cat man. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. Are you this? And may act in it's a lion named Leon. I can't believe it. I'm this unoriginal. I'm not a surprise. It's obviously a normal ass name. Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient one, arisen. <laughs> he's just not here. He's just so he's so far out of the way. Such as this. And he's just not here. How many times am I gonna visit him with an inventory full of swords and just hope good place to take stock of us around he it. shows up? Indeed, you are correct. Why is this quest? Oh god, don't die. Oh, there he is. <laughs> god damn it. Use your fucking swords. Prick. Go to the trouble. Many thanks. We'll gladly make use of what you've given us. Go through with the trouble is one way to put it, yes. Weapons are simple enough to procure if we've the coin. But we might be lucky enough to find some interest. Leon, the quest is over. Shut up. I've you to thank for that new recruit, I. The lad's well eager, he is. He fears naught, and he follows my commands with nary a word of complaint. Soldiers like him boost the morale of all around them. His presence bodes well, and I've you to thank for it. There's just one problem. Seeing a lad so spirited, so foolhardy, makes me recall a time when I was much the same. Sets my blood to boiling, you see. Makes me yearn for a bout with a skilled combatant. Need I explain further? I test my steel against yours, friend. What say you? Care to spar with me a bit? Glad to hear it. Follow me, then. Fine, I've got some frustrations to take out on you. Think of it like a game. Whoever steps out first, loses. Simple enough, right? You're a warrior as well, aren't you? We'll soon see who's the stronger. Let's begin. Fight well! Uh, so first leave the sword, the circle's in trouble. <laughs> that was well fought. <laughs> You're even stronger than I'd anticipated. <laughs> I dare say I needed that. You've my thanks. I've ne'er met anyone like you. You've done more for me this past while than anyone I've known as heir trouble to. A commendable sort you are. Would that I had some way to repay you for all the good you've done me. Sir Baron, you must come, and quickly. A goblin pack has descended over by the road bridge. We're in need of your aid. My thanks for the report. I'll go at once. Goblins can be dastardly. We'll have need of capable fighters. The more, the better. I'd fain have you up my side, friend, if you'd be willing to join the fray. The moment he said... <laughs> the moment he said, first out of the circle loses, I'm like, I'm gonna use my crowd control attack then. Obviously. Uh, the, the risk was whether or not it was going to take, because sometimes it, if a character's too sturdy, it just kind of goes through them, and that could have charged out of the, the arena. But I'm like, I can literally just impale you on my sword and push you out of the arena. Beautifully absurd character. Oh my god, look at the fucking pace I'm taking. I don't know if that's faster than normal running or not. It's, it felt faster. I think it was faster than normal running. Is the current... Yeah, the correct quest is selected. It says to follow him, but I can just charge ahead. This is like more than a goblin. Ooh. 
Randall! What happened? Speak to me, lad! Sir, we managed to fell the goblins, but then a cyclops charged us out of nowhere, wounded and enraged. We stuck the beast with arrows till one of them pierced its eye. It fled, but I've no doubt it will return. Now mind that, lad. You survived, and that's what counts. Let's get you back to the encampment, oi? Am I fighting the Cyclops, or...? It would seem my days of peace are at an end. Do you recall the soldier we met on the road? He was rather badly injured in the Goblin melee. They'll want me to take responsibility for that, I just know it. Shan't be long before I'm forced to resign from my post. I doubt such a thing would be asked of any human instructor. But I'm beast, aren't I? There's no fighting it. But I'll be damned if I let the troops suffer on my account. In the time that remains to me, I'll get them trained up as best I can. This really is the day where I get introduced to all the quests that mention fantasy racism, which hasn't come up yet. I'll gather this. <laughs> Managed to dodge all of it somehow. Oh, the writing is very janky. Would you care to behold a forgotten rift stone oh, as yet undiscovered in this world? We're not going to go after the. Isn't far. We're not going after the Cyclops. Just saying to go back to the calamity again. All right. When I say the the writing is janky, it's that the uh, there's a lot of quests that refer to previous interactions that never happened, or. Just dialogue that doesn't match up the, with the scenario, or even moments like that where like, Do you recall that, that person that was wounded at the goblin attack? I'm like, yeah. We're still here. It's not even like I, I didn't come back later and even start a new quest. You literally forced me to do this cutscene next. And it's like, remember that guy from earlier? I'm like, yeah, we're still here. We're still in that scene. It's like the writing and voice acting reflects a different quest. Like they had, cut, they had to like cut corners and remove stuff and... They cha they repurposed lines that used to be for a di in it that uh, laid out differently or planned differently and were already recorded. So it's just like it, they you can see all these mo janky moments where they like something went wrong in the development of a particular quest and the the dialogue doesn't make sense. Uh, I think the archer staff, Melv Jadeite. Talk to the girl again. She probably does need to have. We're probably, she probably is ready to be talked about again. And I do have the formal attire for Captain Brant. But, like, are we not fighting the Cyclops? I definitely thought that he would just be like, all right, now that he's sent off home, let's go fuck it up. But I have already been up through all this stuff anyway. Can I just talk to you again to get another quest? Or can I talk to you again at all? This shan't go down well. This shan't go down. This shan't go down. Nope. Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. No harm in picking a few. Alright, let's head back into town then and see if they've had any more calamities in the meantime. And if not, we'll head back to the capital. You, a human. I suppose I ought to mention this as well. Gallant means abound in our party, and naturally so, for we are beastrons many. Tis of little import. We shall serve the Arisen faithfully, no matter our race. Leon, don't go, I don't see color at me. You're just being weird. Oh, my sword's out and people are freaking out. Calm down. You guys still good? Yeah, nothing happened here. Okay, you guys are fine. Let's see, I need to do the resting spot to wait till tomorrow. This is one of the most polite things they've ever included, is the fact at least you can fast travel in time to the time where you can use the cart. This game's full of other times where they expect you to just wait and you can't do anything about it. 
All right, back to the capital. Well, uh huh. Uh huh. That dialogue makes way more sense when you do sit down first. If you talk to him first, he's like, "I won't take you anywhere till I have Madame I'm like, "Yeah, I'm talking to you to do that." Whereas if you presumptuously sit down in their cart, then they're like, "Uh, sir, this is a paid service," and then you pay them. We made it. All right. Not that one, but also maybe that one. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. We'll see if I ever have the patience for the uh, Teller of Tall Tales storyline, because oh my god, the idea of having to wait around in real time for him to eventually move on and go somewhere and follow him is kind of agony. And at least in Fallout and other Bethesda games, you can, like, wait one hour intervals at a time to see if the AI will start walking somewhere. This is generally used as a material. Okay, so we're sure looking for... for it in due time. ...the little blonde girl. Right. Just as planned. Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Where's the little blonde girl? There she is. What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen! Say, have you heard about the state of the river? I wish characters turned to each other when they talk to each other, <laughs> just to make the conversations less weird. Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we see gold ore. Though it is sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. I feel like she's conning me. Right you are. But the, the plight of the RPG protagonist is just to mindlessly go do all the things and be like, Oh, dang, I can't believe Patches was out to get me. Patches? This guy seems trustworthy. Uh, it's the I content brain that, make, that makes you want to complete everything. Discussing a curious rumor regarding the Queen Regent and an important personage, you mean. Indeed. Some okay, that was cool. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Alright, here's my stash. That was a really cool little platforming bit well, I just did. You, are you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treat. I already have gold ore. Send my weapons back. Oops, this is withdraw. Dude, this this button is so nice, it should be there all the time. <laughs> That's my main point. Hitting X to mass select things and transfer them? Like, this game knows I want to transfer things between characters, right? All the time, because of the load weight? So they should just let me do this all the time. It's great. It's such a great button that I keep pressing it outside of the stash menu because it should always be available. But they mapped X to... Uh, they, instead they mapped X to be the open crafting menu button. Is this the act? Oh, this is the normal door. I never find it. Here we are. Greetings. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocal. I leveled up! Repulse. Parry is a hostile target's attack. Yes! 
by unleashing a charge attack that can knock the target off balance. Unleash a charge attack when attacked by a hostile target. Oh, that's fucking cool. That's a cool attack. That makes up for the lack of shield, so now I can anticipate a big guy coming and just use a big heavy attack. Okay, this class makes more sense now. Improves your ability to push and pull targets when grabbing hold. Okay. Big Stwong. I get to become the Big Stwong. Skyward Sunder. Oh, I like that attack. I could take off a cooler one. Heavenward Sunder. Inflicts greater harm when fully charged. Alright, well, it's the one I already use. Raising Sweep is just stronger spinny spin. Savage Lash. Channels the user's strength into devastating charge strike. Multi sign button to charge. It's just my normal Y attack, but stronger, I guess. Kind of disappointing. It's not very exciting. Leon, did you level up and get new things to buy? No? Tempest Shot. I do have Torrent Shot, so that's good. Advanced Torrent Shot. Yeah. There you go. I just have a cooler version of that now. Blighting Shot. So it poisons people? Hmm. Only usable when using the applicable arrow. Does one say that too? I don't think the I don't think that the erupting shot says that it requires a special arrow. Hmm. It's worth buying at least. Oh, it costs all the remaining stuff I have. Okay, so these are these allow them to use the arrow types you can get. Tarring, drenching, blighting. Cost all of my remaining money though. Or brain points. <laughs> Why can't I get that one? Oh, because I don't have an archer staff. I have every other item, I think, but not, but not that. He looks so cool as a mystic spear hand. It's not what I'm here to do. Patience. If there is all I'm have you found any of the items we this Yep, that's 13. And you really have to grind to get through these. But this is the one that gives me health, stamina, and carry load. That would be nice. Discuss per chance. Do come again. Okay, so I got my two gold. Get back into the slums. When does my watch? Wish I could go on an adventure. We have arrived. Hoi, you risen. Have you found any gold ore yet? Wow. This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time. Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can, but there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? Oh, thanks, Arisen! What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime, see if there's anything useful I can do. Hoi, Arisen! Have you brought any medicine with you? Uh, antidote for blight. Oh, that's a lot of options. Toxifying decoction, panacea, all here. <laughs> okay, I these are super healing items. I don't know if I want to spend those ones. Uh, detoxifying toxin. Let's just double check to see if I can craft if I can craft Sorry. any more of those. Ah, I pressed something else at the same time. And craft at least one more, it looks like. 
Two. Okay, there we go. Wait, was that the right one? Did I miss? Boy, okay, yes, it was. Have you brought any there we go. Okay, normal detoxifying to to toxins and not my really expensive panaceas. Now that's just splendid. Oh, thank you, Arisen. This should be plenty. I'll take it to the church straight away. Tis a goodly deed we've done aiding the sick. I only hope our efforts go a ways toward improving life in the slums. You have my support. Huh. There was no twist. <laughs> it just feels intuitive there'd be a twist. But all the, pretty much all the quests are extremely straightforward and generic in this game, aren't they? It's it just sincerely, I did need help. I mean, once, once I hit the antidote, I figured that it probably just sincerely was antidote. But the fact that they needed silver and gold, I was increasingly like, hmm, is this kid running, doing, running me around? Thanks, sir. That's it. It's the end of that. It's, it doesn't help that she's. Look at her. Look at the schemer. Is like being so. The way that she would so quickly transition to the next demand, and she like, it just sounded like she, it, everything about it sounded like she had a mark. Like she's like, ha ha! I found a fool. She, everything about her seems like she's lying. She seems like she's. I'll I'll hold on to this. She's getting me. After all, an ounce of prevention is worth. I fear I must attend to my prayers. Okay. All right. Uh, wait. Um, it seems kind of late. Let's just see if this guy is nearby. I need to catch him one of these days at the right time of day for his storyline. He's here again. Oi there! The ale flows a plenty here, courtesy of yours truly. So ne'er mind your coin purse. Drink your. All right. He's here. Let's pick up where we left off. That's not the right one. There we go. It's just watch the beggar as he goes about his day and see if you can find out what makes his coin. I will now stand here patiently. I hope it doesn't take 500 years. I beg it not to. We're going to watch him carefully. Thankfully, I blend in well, and I'm unsuspicious, so he won't notice that I'm just standing here, watching him. The hour's grown late. I'm just going to have my hide. He's just like sprinting around. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye on this guy. Hopefully he doesn't have like follow mechanics like Assassin's Creed where if I get too close I fail or something because having to wait till like the next day would be brutal. God, light the lighting looks so good. Look at- I love the glow of it all. The hazy glow of everything here. I love it when Dark Souls games have a level like that where you uh, get to light a bunch of, la of torches throughout a level and sort of light up the darkness. I turned this thing off now. I'm gonna pretty this ladder is here for a reason. unscrupulously ah, follow him. Find. Right, doors locked. That should do it. Fuck. Okay. Gah! No, don't tackle fall, people. I'm trying to climb you, domain. fuck. Tis worth considering oh my god, done. climb normal, you dick. Stop grabbing him! <laughs> it's so annoying. Am I gonna fucking fail this quest because I can't get my character to climb when I want him to? There we go, because he, lo he locked his door, but top. This door doesn't open either? Maybe this is the wrong part of the day for this quest. Maybe I need to find him before he gets there. That makes sense. 
I don't see how to get through a locked door most of the time. Unless there's an opening somewhere around here. Hmm. It makes a logical kind of sense that I might need to... Uh... You might need to... Catch him when he's leaving his job, because like he stands around and preaches all day. So you probably have to catch him when he's leaving his day work. <laughs> I'm phrasing things dumb. Uh, you might have to catch him while he's leaving, and then he probably gets paid by whoever's paying him to do it. And then he goes to the bar, and that's why he's so jovially like, and This round's on me, everybody! Don't worry! Ha ha! I'm bragging about how much money I make to you. Because he's kind of showing off and flexing on how much money he's making. Which means he got paid already. So he's probably not... It's probably not the moment you need to catch him. But that does mean I don't know when to catch him. Because I also don't want to stand around and follow him for a 24 hours or a 12 hour day cycle. I guess if I can skip to the early afternoon somehow, that would be helpful. Is he directly below my house? That makes it a little more perplexing. Anyway, let's, uh... I need to dress fancy. You still have my fancy clothes? Yep. No, not, not that. Give Blythe. Uh, did I accidentally put away the, the fancy top? Where are the pants? Fuck. Let's see, minor shirt, tribal, because we don't need these. Laborers trousers. Shortly breeches. Wait, I, oh, I have them on me. I guess I thought he had them. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong. I keep mixing up bumper and trigger for these purposes. There we go. Shortly <clears throat> breeches. Okay. Ta da! Now I'm all fancy. Just like the quest for. Feast of Deception. So we're going to... We're going to enter the Masquerade. Which I've already been to multiple times, but for other purposes, because that building has other stuff happening in it. I guess I could have gotten the glasses while doing the Masquerade quest, but when I went in, I didn't have... Uh, I did not yet even have Masquerade gear. Uh, this is... Probably too far. It is a tavern. Or this is the inn. I need to go to the tavern. There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tell me of the masquerade. For some time now. It was said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds, but as I hear it, he is now well enough to walk unaided. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding masquerade in the palace of late. The false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the matter of from where he hails remains a mystery. But may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a glimpse into the man behind the mask. What say you, your majesty? Might I ask this task of you? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I Once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary if they believe you a fellow masquerader. Here, this should suffice to help you blend in. Take care, your majesty. Ah, 
There is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require suitable raiment. Much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining the other revelers. This ladder can take us to new heights. Ah, excellent find. A ladder? Could you believe it? There's a ladder. Wow, a ladder. Double checking. Okay, he did give me a mask. To equip under the... I'm, equip I'm wearing two masks. I'm wearing a mask under my mask. <laughs> what does it look like without the helm? He's beautiful. Can I just keep this on? Even tied mask, a mask fashioned from the skin of a reptile worn by attendees of a palace masquerades for the sake of anonymity. Probably has no stat effect, so it just lets you have a cool mask. Interested in my wares? Too quietly as for my life. In combat. Let's go this way. Yeah, there seems to be like a glasses slot where the items that work that way are all in your helm inventory, but they technically occupy a different slot than your helms do. My legs look so fucking funny with these pants on. Have no fear, master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. I look like I've been squished. Tis not our place to hurry the arisen. All right, I am officially dressed to impressed. Excuse me. Hello. I belong here and I'm normal. I blend in perfectly. No one would suspect a thing. Because of all the beastren that are in here, obviously. This doesn't open, does it? It might. There's someone behind now the hallway back there. Is the masquerade over? See, my goal is to approach the... Ah, my joysticks are freaking out. Ah. Yeah, we're just looking for the false fought sovereign. But I don't know if I know what he looks like. Anyway, was that a bug? Yep. I haven't eaten all my bugs. I forgot to Akuna my tatas. What time is it? Does it say anywhere in the game what time it is? Is it not? Is it not masquerade o'clock? It does not seem to be a masquerade right now. <clears throat> Perchance you've heard, the coronation is soon to be held. It seems the sovereign, wounded in glorious combat with the dragon, is recovered at last. No tidings could be more joyous. Indeed, it is a weight off my heart to think that our fair vermin shall once again be governed by a true ruler. Yeah, Dare I presume I've caught your eye? We've not to discuss. Um. Uh. Is it bef Are we before or after when it happens? Uh. When is the masquerade? It doesn't say in the quest. It's probably later? Because... I just followed the guy from the bar at sundown to his home, so it probably... hasn't happened yet. So I guess I'll just have to wait. <laughs> and this game doesn't have a waiting feature, so I just have to wait in real time. Oh, there's nobody dancing with her! Can I help? Nope. There's no one dancing with her. Oh no! So tragic. 
No, I was like, wait, there's Beaster in here. He's a, he's wearing a Beaster in mask. No, no, it's fucked up. <laughs> It'd be fitting if this was the, if this was the. The false guy, it would make sense, because he's literally wearing a mask of a beastrin, but I don't think the game takes that into account. Why... you're... No. Pay me no mind. We I guess who are gathered here are... Like, I guess... Hang on a minute. Is the trick to take off my mask? Mm. No. We who are gathered here are... We who are gathered here... Okay, so revealing my face does not... <laughs> they didn't account for the idea that I would take off my mask. So the narrative doesn't account for that, and he just is like, Who is that? Who? I'm not sure. I'm like, Sir, I'm showing you my face. But yeah, I guess... I guess I still don't know who was in the King first-person segment. They hide their face, which makes me think that it's me. Because that's why you would hide the face of the person who hasn't went before the character creator. Oh, they're moving! Okay. Maybe i just follow him now. They're just gonna follow this guy now. That's the logical thing to do at this point, I think. But yeah, it could be that I never took the throne at all, but the guy, the leader, of the, the leader of the guard already knows me and knows that I should be the leader, that I should be the the monarch. Did he just disappear? Did no, no, no. What? Now this is a place to forget What? All honest coin is made There was a welcome reprieve from the day's exertion. What? Was this game made to be played by humans? <laughs> Did, what? This is a visible person. Did a human did did humans play test this game? I've just I've played RPGs nonstop all the time. There's a flow to quest logic. There's just a. <laughs> all right, let's sleep and let's sleep sleep on a bench until it's, it's fucking midnight again. I guess and try again. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He just disappeared! This game literally has missions where you follow somebody from a thing. I was just doing one for the beggar who tells all the stories. So that's in the lo the language of this game. That's the logic of its quests. So it's not like I'm making it up. <laughs> he just... <laughs> this game's evil. It's out to get me. Oh man. My first like eight hours were really solid and the last like four or so have had the most insane quests that I cannot unpack. The next thing I could think of is to prove I'm arisen, I would take my shirt off. That's how I proved I was arisen to, uh, was it the guy in jail? We who are gathered here. Just very. Oh, oh. This might just be a part of my brain where all of my intuitive solutions are for me to strip. Drink. What if I took my clothes off? No. We who are gathered here. Y'all. I'm full naked. This is me. We who are gathered here. I swear to God. I swear to God this game. I swear to God this game. I swear to God. I just... This is... Th this is certainly not an immersive sim. I'll say that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wait! No! <laughs> Damn it. This can't be 
be real. It can't. Help. Help. <laughs> this man got naked. Murder him. <laughs> so they all know who I am. <laughs> They're all recognizing me when I strip, but he's not reacting. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we have not improved from 1992 LucasArts adventure game logic, where you just have to, like, try to figure out what specific thing the developer thought of. Everyone reacted that severely, and he's still like, hmm, could it be? I don't know. Hmm. Further data required. Got to focus. Uh, okay, so I've got the... You think that they'd be... You think that they'd react very differently to a stripper at a masquerade ball, honestly. Doesn't that just make me the entertainment? Do you know how long you'll be? I only ask so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. Who doesn't who doesn't want to invite in uh, the sexy Arisen like in costume? Is there not a masquerade ball? But when you talk to people, you can hit X to gift them something. So maybe I can gift him the brass letter. Which implies that somebody is pretending to be somebody else. Because that's the code. And he's pretending to be me. I'm, I'm trying to approach this in uh, Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask logic. And see if that applies. There's no gift button! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. <sighs> that would have been clever. I'm a tad preoccupied just now, if you can't tell. You were posted in front of the passage yesterday, aye? Next time, don't leave all in front of the door. I had a hell of a time wrenching the damn thing open. Beg your pardon? I'll be mindful of that from now on. Still, no doubt there are others who've no idea that's even a door. Mayhap someone should put up a sign, eh? You're talking about just the fake door? I've already been through the fake door. Is he there now? I thought he was going to be at the masquerade. I've already been here before. Fuck! I've been here before, game! <laughs> game, I've been here before! <laughs> this is just the boudoir, whatever it's called. The, the prostitute place. I've been here before trying to do this quest. Game! Come on, man! Well, now, you're. What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scout the area. Well, scout what you like. In here. I'm also already allowed in here, so I've also been in this building. Open up. I already have a membership card and fully looted everything in this building. This quest makes no sense. Oh, but you didn't find the secret passage while wearing your mask. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's the quest logic? Oh my god. for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. And what business have you here? In the noble's playground. Hmm? Huh? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this? Ma'am, you have a lot of consent problems. First you kiss me without asking. 
which Come is presuming on, a lot. Keep pouring. <laughs> now you've Can got you take these. Me for some green lad who can't handle his cups. I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, your majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? <laughs> aye, aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> 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 he looks like that actor who got his balls stung in that one movie and I they believe swelled up. I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check. Lest you forget, these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. There's that guy. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. <laughs> you need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. I totally thought it was that guy, but he, he is important. I was right about that. Not much of a guess. He had Why a cutscene. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. Not Lord Phasus. I, I don't know if I've heard that name ever before. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. I already showed him all of what me. What is your purpose here? I He's wonder. lucky I kept the underwear on. If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. Given the uh, type of business this, business this is, I think that most of the men here are arisen. So inclined. I'll instruct my attendants to send you straight to me. Yeah, so that quest was trash. <laughs> that quest was garbage. I'd already found the secret passage before. But I wasn't wearing my mask. And it was even during a masquerade ball. Because I was looking for the glasses for the other quest. Because they make you look for the glasses in the masquerade hall. So I look, I found the guy's glasses for the other quest in the masquerade hall. And I was try while trying to find that with little guidance, I found the secret passage very easily several times. And I've also been in this building several times because I have access to it already because I have a membership card because she gave me one. So I've poured over every inch of this location and the entire quest's logic was completely hilted on whether or not I happened to walk through the secret passage while wearing the masquerade gear during the ball. Brutal. Brutal. Ugh. Damn. Okay. Well. At least it's over. <laughs>